Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well. I hope you've been having a good holiday season. So since we are about to start a new year, I wanted to do some more uh, year to come readings. So what we're doing today is we're going to be taking a look at your career slash financial outlook for the next 12 months. Um, I am uploading this at the end of 2019, however, this is not necessarily going to be specific to the year 2020. Um, whenever you find this video, whenever you're watching this, it will be applicable for the next 12 months, okay? So, <clears throat> all that said, let's take a look at these piles. We have three to choose from. One, two, three. I have all uh, calcite um, here for these. So for group one, we have blue calcite. Group two is clear calcite. And group three is yellow calcite. My voice is a little bit funky. I've been sick. So um, hopefully that's not too annoying. <clears throat> I will give you guys a moment to make your choices and then we will get started with this. Okay, so group number one. Let's take a look at your cards. We have Blue Moon, Believe in the Impossible. We have New Moon in Virgo, A Time to Give Rather Than Take. We have Look for a Sign. The Green Man, the forces of nature favor you. We have the Tribe reversed. And your three tarot cards. Ooh, we have the Eight of Wands. We have the Six of Wands and Justice. Okay. So, um, the first thing that I'm, that I'm getting here is that, I mean, right away, I see a lot of success for the next year for you guys. Um, I feel as though in the realm of your career and your financial situation, you have a lot to look forward to, okay? Um, for some of you, I'm seeing that some kind of project uh, or some kind of goal that you have like you know it, it could be something creative like a creative project because we do have these two wands cards and wands uh, do relate to like creativity and ideas um, for some of you this could be a creative project for others of you you know maybe you have like some kind of business ideas or just some you know financial career related goal that you've been working towards um, probably for some time. For some of you I'm getting that it's been so long that you've begun to maybe doubt your ability to be successful in this or your ability to achieve this goal that you have. Um, there's a glare on these cards. Let me move them. Okay, but I'm, I'm seeing that in the next year, you can expect to see a lot of success. Um, believe in the impossible. I mean, this card talks about, <laughs> it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it, it talks about having faith that something is going to work out, having faith that even though a situation might seem kind of hopeless, even though it might seem implausible, unrealistic, that it can still happen, okay? Um, blue moon, this, you probably know the phrase, you know, this only happens once in a blue moon. Um, I feel like whatever you've been working towards, you're about to receive or 
yeah, you're about to have like like a once in a lifetime opportunity put in front of you. The Eight of Wands, this talks about change. It talks about action. Um, it can represent communication. Some of you, if you've been waiting to hear from someone specific about this idea, about this project, you know, whatever it is you've been dealing with, um, this is a sign that that communication is going to come. You know, if you're, you're waiting for some kind of like acceptance letter or um, a sponsorship or something, you know, something like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing that communication coming in and, you know, the Eight of Wands is a very passionate, you know, enthusiastic kind of energy. So I feel like this is going to be positive communication, okay? This is going to be good news coming your way. Um, also, the Six of Wands is about victory and success. Um, so, you know, <laughs> this is, this is again, a, a really self-explanatory card. I mean, it's it's showing me that after a long period of working towards something, working, 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 trying to have faith in the situation, trying to keep your hopes up about the situation, um, you finally seeing that work pay off. You finally seeing that patience pay off. I'm getting that for for many of you this is something that's really close to your hearts and I feel as though spirit has been you know trying to show you trying to give you signs synchronicities to show you that what you're working towards is manifesting um, some of you have noticed these signs, some of you have not. Um, you know, it, it, these signs could be repeating numbers, if you see a lot of repeating numbers. I'm specifically getting twos. Um, so, like, some of you I feel are seeing a lot of twos, like two, 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 twenty-two, twenty-two. Um, I'm also getting something about birds. For some of you, birds are significant, like a certain type of bird. Um, but anyway, the gist of this message here is that Spirit's been trying to, to, to show you, to give you signs, messages, that things are going the way that they're supposed to be. This is on, you're on the right path. Things are moving in the right direction. You might not be able to see it right now, but I feel that there's a lot happening behind the scenes. Things are lining up just right for you to be to be successful, um, for you to achieve this goal that you're working towards, that you've been working towards. Um, and they're saying, whenever you feel discouraged, don't be afraid to ask for a sign that, that things are going to be okay. Um, I feel as though maybe some of you are a bit hesitant to you know, look into this matter, maybe because you're afraid of what you're going to see or afraid of the message, the answer you're going to get. Because um, like I said, I feel for the majority of you, this definitely is something that really means a lot to you. It's like a passion project. It's something very close to you, very personal to you. And so some of you I, I'm seeing are afraid <laughs> of um, things not working out or you're afraid of getting a message that this isn't meant for you to have um, <clears throat> but I'm seeing here that you you don't really have anything to be afraid of um, things in the next year are going to be changing a lot for you um, and I'm seeing with this card that some of these changes are going to be very uncomfortable. Um, the tribe in the upright position usually talks about like soul family, um, strong bonds between people. 
generally though it is just it, it's about like feelings of belonging like feeling as though you found your tribe a place where you belong a place where you feel safe and comfortable um in the reverse it's uh, it's it's not really feeling safe. It's feeling uncomfortable. It's it's being outside of your comfort zone. And so I think that when this communication comes through, when things finally start to move um, for you, <clears throat> some of the changes that are going to happen as a result of that are going to be uncomfortable for you. Um, I get the sense that you're going to be I feel like your workload is going to increase a lot. Um, and some of you are expecting this, some of you are not expecting it to increase as much as it will. Um, and I, I get that from this card as well, a time to give rather than take. So, you know, this is obviously about giving and receiving. Um, you're going to be receiving good news. You're going to be receiving an offer or an opportunity. And once that is accepted, then you're going to have to start giving back. You're going to have to start investing a lot more, um, putting in a lot of hard work and effort to actually, to actually make this thing happen the way that you want it to. You're going to be given this opportunity, but there's still going to be a lot of work that you're going to have to do on your part, right? Um, to really see things through. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> but, you know, this card, the forces of nature favor you again. This is talking about success. This is talking about a victory. Um, whatever this is that you've been working towards, whatever this goal is that you have, it's something that you're meant to be doing okay so if you've been afraid that this isn't meant for you to have that you're on the wrong path maybe I don't think you need to worry about that they're saying this is what you're meant to be doing this is how you're going to give back to the world this is how you're going to serve your life purpose um, and lastly the justice card uh, this is about balance and stability um, none of these cards obviously are explicitly related to material success you know money um, so I'm not sure I'm not sure how lucrative this is going to be for you guys. Um, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of emotional satisfaction, obviously. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, feelings of being fulfilled and that type of thing. I don't see a lot of actual, like, money coming in. So for some of you, this really is going to be a passion project. This is maybe not going to be something you're going to necessarily be able to make a living off of, at least not initially. Um, but that's that's not for all of you, that's for some. Um, justice, like I said, this does talk about stability and it talks about, um, to me here, it's, it's showing me like you developing and maintaining some kind of equilibrium. So even though I don't see cards here that are explicitly talking about f money, you know, a lot of money and material success, I do feel that you will be stable. I feel that you will be, you will have a balance in terms of your finances and you'll be able to provide for yourself, you know? Um, I, I, I don't see, I don't see any cards here that are indicative of like struggling okay financial struggles nothing of that nature um so group one that's pretty much all the messages that i'm getting for you right now um i hope this was helpful i hope this was uh insightful to you i hope it resonated um keep in mind this is just a general reading general one year forecast um so take what resonates with you, take what applies to you, and leave the rest behind. Don't try to make something fit that doesn't fit. And um, thank you for joining me today. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye.
All right, group two. Let's see what cards you have. We have communication is key. We have bring love into the situation. Opportunity. The golem, a close friend, acts on your behalf. A change in the wind. And your tarot cards, we have the Eight of Cups reversed. We have the Hanged Man. And we have the Four of Pentacles. So, group two. Um, the obvious thing here is <laughs> some pretty significant changes, I think, are going to be happening for you guys in the realm of your career situation. Um, opportunity, something is going to be coming your way this year. Something, some kind of new offer, probably something kind of unexpected is going to be coming in for you. Um, and I feel as though it's going to be, I think for most of you, it's not going to be like, the result of you applying for something. I feel like it's going to be this this offer is going to come to you through your network or through your circle of people that you know. Um and I I get that from the Gollum card here, a close friend acts on your behalf. This doesn't necessarily mean that this offer is going to be coming from an actual friend of yours. For some of you it could be, but um in general, this is just saying Somebody within your network, somebody within your circle is going to be approaching you with some kind of job offer, I feel, or they're going to be offering you a part um, in working on some kind of special project. And I think that's going to happen because this person feels like you are going to be a good fit for this, um, and they see a lot of potential in you, <laughs> okay? Um, this opportunity may not be very closely related to whatever it is that you do currently. Um, a change in the wind, this is pretty self-explanatory. This is talking about changes. Um, you changing, uh, you know, your specific job position or maybe your place of employment. But I'm also feeling like for a lot of you, this is going to be a change in career fields also. Um, I feel like... A number of you are going to be involved in some kind of like startup or something like that. Um, communication is key. This is again talking about the off this this offer coming towards you. Um, new moons all talk about new beginnings, um, something fresh starting out. So again, I'm seeing that this communication is probably going to be relatively unexpected, probably not anticipated. Um, I'm also getting specifically like music. I guess a lot of you are going to be getting involved in something relating to music. I don't know. Maybe you guys, maybe you have a friend who wants to start a band or something. I don't know. But that's, um, that's a possibility. That's something that I just keep seeing, uh, for some reason. But, um, I'm, I'm feeling like you may be a little bit conflicted about, whether this opportunity is something that you should take up or not. So what I mean by that is um, you might be concerned about the financial aspect of this. You know, am I going to be able to make enough money doing this? Um, am I am I going to be able to make the same amount? Or am I going to start, you know, am I going to be struggling to make ends meet if I take up this opportunity? Um, for some of you, I do feel as though it, it may be a little bit of a step down in terms of how much you're going to be earning um, in comparison to what you make now 
And I get that from the Four of Pentacles. I mean, the Four of Pentacles is a card that talks about stability and control. Um, it can talk about holding on to something very tightly, um, clinging on to something. So some of you might be, uh, like I said, uh, concerned about the financial aspect of this um, opportunity, this project, this offer. Like, you know, I, I wanted to take part in this, but I also don't want to give up, you know, my salary or something like that. Um, and that's, that's not to say that you will necessarily have to give up your current job in order to take advantage of this. Um, some of you will, some of you won't. It depends on what the actual offer is, obviously. Um, I feel like, I think I already mentioned this, but I feel like for most of you, this is going to be something that you're going to be excited about. It's going to be something that's going to be very appealing to you. Um, but again, I'm, I'm seeing that concern. And the Eight of Cups here reversed. This card talks about walking away from something, leaving a situation behind, moving on. Um, in the reverse, it's, it's like you haven't actually done that yet, but you maybe are considering moving on from a situation. Um, there's uncertainty, there's some doubt here with this card. So again, this is talking to me about, you know, I, I feel for the majority of you, this is not going to be something that you're going to immediately snatch up. This is something that you're going to want to take some time to think about. Um, the Hanged Man talks about contemplation. Uh, it also can indicate stagnation, delays. Um, you might have to ask this person, you know, I'm interested, but I think I need some time to think this through. And, and make my decision. Um, that's what this is showing me. So, and, and also the hanged man can talk about changing perspectives. So again, um, there's that energy of change here. And also I think that for most of you, you will figure out a way to make this work. I think for most of you, you are gonna take this up take up this offer um you are going to move forward with this you are going to become involved and i think that's going to be because like i said it's something that you just believe in or it's something that you're excited about um bring love into this situation i feel for a lot of you this is going to be something that's going to be very emotionally satisfying for you um fulfilling it could be something that will give you the opportunity to make a difference in in the world in the lives of other people and that might be something that's really important to you also for some of you i'm getting that um if you seize this opportunity uh, you will also be through this you will be um you may come into contact with a potential love interest or 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 a few that's that's for some of you um they just wanted me to mention that so you know that might that might influence your decision a little bit um i want to touch back on the four of pentacles here you know, like I said, this does indicate stability. It does, um, it can represent, you know, um, some money coming in. Four is not a real high number, obviously. Um, and so it doesn't really show me, you know, I, I, I don't see like gobs of money coming your way from this, but I do see, for most of you, I do see you being able to have some financial stability with this. And I also see potential for like further, um, oh God, what's the word I'm looking for? I see the potential for this to become more lucrative over time. Do you, do you know what I mean? Um, so it initially may not give you a, a big return but I feel for most of you, there will be more potential for more earnings as time goes on, okay? So, group two, 
those are pretty much all the messages that I'm getting for you today. Um, I hope that this resonates with you. This is just a general reading, so take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Uh, I hope that this was interesting, and um, I want to thank you for joining me today. And I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye! Okay, so group three. Last but not least, let's find out what is coming up for you in the next year in the realm of your finances and career. So, cards we have here. Full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. Two full moon cards, interesting. Um, in the near future, we have the unicorn, good fortune and friendship, peace, and your tarot cards are the sun reversed, the two of cups, and the six of swords reversed. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, this message here is definitely different from the first two readings for today. Um, readings one and two were actually kind of similar. Um, what I'm seeing here is some struggle, okay? Um, two full moon cards. Full moons typically relate to conclusions, endings. Um, a fiery climax approaches and your dreams need a practical plan. Um, this card comes up a lot when you may need to take a more grounded approach to a situation, or I've also seen it appear when we are, like, like when someone is, is just going down the wrong path in life, when someone's trying to pursue something that's just not really meant for them, that's not in their best interest, and they don't necessarily realize that, but, um, you know, that's that's what spirit's trying to tell them. And then a fiery climax approaches. <laughs> this can be a good or a bad thing. Um, this card can represent... This card can represent conflict. Um, some kind of big explosive event. I, I get the impression that... For you guys, group three, your f career situation is not the most stable. And you may already be aware of this, or this may be something that will develop in, in the coming months. But I'm seeing a real lack of stability in your career. Um, so I want to say... I want to say that many of you probably are not aware of this at this point in time um, because the sun reversed. This is kind of like something being hidden from you, something being, you know, out of your sight, something, something that you're unaware of currently. This card also you know, in the upright position, it can represent wish fulfillment. Um, so when it's reversed, it can sometimes mean that, you know, something you've been pursuing, a path that you've been going down is going to become blocked off to you. You know, maybe something that you thought you were meant to be doing, something that you, you know, felt was your purpose or was your calling actually may not be. The Six of Swords reversed. This shows me conflict as well. This shows me... This shows me some difficulties that will need to be overcome. That will need to be resolved. I feel like... Your... 
career situation, your job. Like I said, I feel instability here. I feel like in the next year, you may find yourself in a position where you no longer have a job, kind of unexpectedly. Um, so that could be getting laid off. That could be your your place of employment, you know, shutting down for whatever reason. It, I mean, there there's a lot of different ways that this could happen. Um, but I feel as though that's a possibility, a strong possibility for you guys, unfortunately. Um, and in the near future, this card usually shows me like within a span of three or four months, perhaps. Um, so, you know, it, this isn't saying that this is going to happen like next week, probably not. Um, but it is showing me that for a lot of you, this could be happening relatively soon. Um, so I do see some difficulty there. Again, kind of like group one, we don't have any cards here that actually are indicative of, you know, financial um, stability that explicitly talk about money. Um, so I feel as though money could be a bit of a problem for you this year uh, as a result of this loss or, you know, this ending. Um, also, I'm getting this doesn't have to be the loss of a job. It doesn't have to be you know, a, a business, you know, closing up or anything like that. It could also, for some of you, especially if you work in sales, I'm getting that especially if you work in sales, you, um, you may lose a, a significant client or you might lose a number of clients and that could really impact, negatively impact the amount of money that you make. Okay, that's also a possibility. So... So, so this doesn't mean you're going to get fired necessarily, okay? I feel for most of you that's probably not actually what's going to happen. I feel like more than likely for you guys it's going to be, you know, something happening in the workplace that will create some conflict that will result in financial losses for the business in general or for the company or whatever. Um... I feel like it's very unlikely that you will that you will specifically like be targeted to lose your job. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Um, anyway, so unfortunately, not a super promising uh, outlook here. However, we do have the unicorn, we do have the two of cups, and we do have the peace card. So peace, this talks about acceptance. This is, you know, calm. This is serenity. It is... This card tells me, you know, the only way to be at peace is to accept the things that we cannot change. That's the only way to be at peace in, in, in this life. Um, so this is saying, listen... Some difficult stuff is going to be coming up, more than likely, but know that things will be okay, okay? There's no need for you to be panicking about this or anxious because when, when the time comes, things will work out. And I feel like Things are going to work out for most of you because of somebody close to you in your life. Um, the Two of Cups talks about close relationships, partnerships. Um, the Unicorn literally says good fortune and friendship. Um, so we have these two cards that are talking about close relationships. Um, they're talking to me about helping, helping, receiving some kind of help, assistance from somebody close to you. Um, this could be a partner, a romantic partner. This could be a good friend. This could be a family member. And I feel like whoever this person is, 
more than likely they are going to help you they're going to help you with this financial situation like you know this this loss um by working with you to find new opportunities for for yourself this person might own a business or they might have a lot of pull at their workplace they may be able to get you an opportunity in that way um this person might be willing to you know loan you a significant amount of money or help you with bills and that kind of thing that that could be um the the working together it's it, it really depends on your specific situation but um Someone is going to be coming in, coming towards you, who's going to be there to help you. And I feel like this person is going to make a big difference. Like, without them, things could be a lot more difficult. Some of you are going to feel like this person is like an angel that's been sent to you. <laughs> To get you out of this tough situation. But group three, um, that's really all that I'm getting for you today. I think that with, you know, faith and some help from whoever this is who's going to be uh, approaching you, I do think that by the end of this 12-month period, um, you will be back on your feet. You will be feeling more stable and more secure. Um, but in general, unfortunately, guys, I do feel like the next year or so is going to be a bit of a tough one financially and... Um, as far as work is concerned. But try not to stress about it too much. This is just a general reading. Um, so take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, I hope that this uh, was interesting. I hope that it gives you, gave you some insight. Ugh, I can't talk. Um, and I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope that I see you next time. Bye!